Okay, quick little lecture here uh, doing the math for question 21 in the ILM, which is the sealed uh, leg transmitter application. So to start out again, format is everything. So we're going to do everything at LRV, and then we'll do the same at URV. And we have to ask ourselves, what is it that we are trying to figure out? Um, what is the data that we need to uh, figure out? So we need to figure out what's the pressure sensed on the high cell, what is the pressure sensed on the low cell, and what is the net difference uh, between the two of them? And we'll have to do that for both URV and LRV. Okay, so if we look at the drawing, uh, we have to ask yourself, what are the variables that are in play? So we have, uh, and I'll just do this as a, as a little side note, because uh, it applies to all of them. We are going to have PX, which is the pressure uh, of the vessel itself. Plus, we're going to have the PGH contribution of what I call the tank. And then we are also going to have, and this could be a plus or minus, depending on the application, uh, the PGH of what I call the leg. So these are the variables that come into play uh, for all of these. So if we look at the lower range value uh, image, um, we'll see that our contribution on the high side is going to be 100 kPa's for our PX, plus uh, the contribution of the fluid in the tank, which in this case is zero because there's no fluid in the tank, and then the contribution of the leg. And because the transmitter is higher than the bottom tap, the pressure um, on the cell, the high cell, is actually pulling away. The gravity is pulling the seal fluid away from the cell. So it's going to be minus whatever our leg calculation is, which is uh, going to be um, 0.82 times 0.6 times 9.81. And we do that math, and it works out to uh, 4.826. So we can do the math for that. And this is going to be uh, 100 minus 4.826, which is going to equal 95.17 kPa. Looking at the low side, same things come into play again all of these variables that we have to look at so on the low side we're still going to have our 100 the pressure of the tank plus we're going to have the level of the fluid in the tank which is again zero in this case uh, because the leg is above the transmitter its contribution is going to be positive come on pen is going to be positive. In this case, we do the math uh, for that leg and it's going to be 0.82 times one times 9.81, which gives us a value of 8.044. So we add these together and we get uh, 108.044. We subtract our 95.17 minus 108.04 and that should give us a number hopefully of minus 12.87 same thing now doing it with the vessel at upper range value so we're going to have uh, still these things to deal with here so the pressure of the tank um, the PGH contribution of the fluid in the tank and the PGH contribution uh, of the leg, however that may be. So on the high side again here, when it's full, we have 100 kPa of pressure, plus this time we have fluid in the tank, so it's going to be 1.28 times the height of 1.4 times gravity. And then we're going to have, again, the high side leg is drawing away from the cell 4.826. So we do this math here, we end up with 
100 plus 17.58 minus 4.826 gives us a magical number of 112.75 kPa. That's a, the high cell. The low cell, what are, what's in play there again? Same thing, 100 kPa is a vessel pressure. Uh, because there's no process fluid hitting the seal, zero is a PGH from the tank. And then because, again, the capillary is above the transmitter, it's positive this time, 8.044. And that gives us a number of 108.044. We do our subtraction. Minus 108.04. Should give us 4.71 kPa. So this is our 20 milliamp value. This is our four milliamp value. And that's how you do question 21.